Networking isn't merely the exchange of business cards. Networking is vital for career success. If you work for someone else, it's a fast track to that promotion. And if you have your own company, it can introduce you to new clients and grow your business through referrals. The most successful people are well connected. Yet, many people hate networking. You know what? Nothing zaps your confidence like walking into a room like this and having to chat to people you don't know. The thought of networking nights fill them with dread. They panic at cocktail parties because they're terrible at remembering names. Or they worry about going to work functions and getting stuck with the dullest person in the room. There is a skill to networking. So I'll share tips and tricks on networking so anyone can walk into a room full of strangers with ease and make a positive impression. We'll cover how to control your networking nerves. But this is actually a form of yogic breathing and it actually has science behind it. So if your inhalation, if your exhalation is longer than the inhalation, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system and that automatically calms you. So we're going to do it now. I want everyone just to move their chairs out a bit so that you're sitting with your bum just on the front of the chair. Planning what to say so you leave a great impression and how to nail your answer when someone asks, so what do you do? Plus some cheeky tips too. It's about how to extract yourself from a really boring person. Because you know what happens, you're stuck at a function and then all of a sudden you're with someone who just wants to go on and on about their cruise and you don't want to hear about it. The rise of social media is the main reason that people have lost the art of small talk. People are too busy on their phones to even make eye contact with the person beside them. But that person standing beside them could unlock the key to their career success. So I also teach the basic do's and don'ts of small talk. Ask the other person questions so that they talk about themselves more than you talk about yourself. Plus, tricks on how to remember names, and most importantly, how to avoid putting your foot in your mouth. You don't want to ask a direct personal question. I've done that. I've gone into an event, walked up to a guy and said, oh, okay, hi, I'm Shelley, how's work? And found out that he was made redundant that day. My sessions are filled with easy to remember, take home information, and practical demonstrations.